Looks so good. <laughs> so I guess just to put me on real quick, uh, coming back, got uh, first time in the playoffs. Um, I guess at, at any jitters at all? Any any kind of uh, excitement, jitters? What kind of describe what you guys are going through right now? Um, well, I think me and LA have both had experience playing in like playoffs with March Madness and stuff so I don't know if it's jitters I think for me it's more excitement it's just a different type of energy um when you get into the postseason and so I think we're excited to get to Dallas we're pretty familiar with them so really just blocking into things but you know it's your first playoff experience this is the goal all year to get here so it's exciting to finally be here I would agree I think that we knew what type of team we had so it came to no surprise that we made it to this level I think just building on what we've done the, during the season, I think it's just going to be exciting for us. And I guess for Dallas, uh, you guys are familiar with just, just points. Yeah. All right. So is there, like, kind of being familiar with an opponent like that, um, I mean, and in, in just having played them, like, I guess is – how was that bounce back, you know, like, just played? <laughs> now you have to go and turn around and play the same team again. <laughs> What is that like? Yeah, I think it, it adds a little bit of motivation since it's coming off a loss as well. But it's also the understanding that, like, now we're in the playoffs. They talked about in the locker room after the game is, like, it doesn't matter any records up until this point. You're all in the playoffs now, so everybody's 0-0. So it's, like, that motivation that you're in the playoffs, but coming off the loss as well, and we've lost to them every time we played them. So I think it just gives us a little bit of extra juice heading into this series. Yeah, it's playoff time, so everybody's going to be on their high horses. Everybody's going to be playing their best basketball. I think we're a very gritty team, so we want it, and I know they want it, but uh, I think that we're going to go out and, and do it what we can. All right, so I guess for y'all person, what does this mean uh, to get this chance, this opportunity, especially being a rookie? I mean, what, like, what, what does that do for you? To be in the playoffs this yeah, year? No, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like um, now, like, it can't be any other way for the rest of our careers. Like, it would be crazy if our season would have ended on Sunday. I know for a lot of teams it did. Um, so it's really just a blessing to be here, and I think that we deserve to be here. We put in a lot of work through training camp and through the whole season to be here. Um, so, yeah, I think that things are going to start clicking even more for us. But as a rookie, it's really exciting to have our season continue on. And I guess for Dallas, uh, what, what do you know of Dallas, and I guess how, how are they going to try to take this? Yeah, I mean, we played them a few times. They played us a few times, so we both know our tendencies. We know that the every kid wants to shoot the ball, so – that's obviously every team's priority when they're playing them, but they're a good all-around team, and I think we're an even greater all-around team as well. The last game was a testament to that. So just being able to score throughout different people on the benches and uh, being able to contribute, I think that's going to be our, our progress. Uh, we'll go to Ma. Go ahead, Ma. Hey, good guys. Good to see you both. Uh, LA, I wanted to ask you first, um, also apologize if my dog starts barking. He's been an asshole this morning. But uh, um, with what has this last year been like for you? Obviously going from FIBA right into playing with SC, getting drafted, and now here, I feel like that is a jam-packed year. Um, and has that kind of like hit you yet in terms of what that's been like? What was the last part? Uh, has that kind of like hit you yet in terms of what that's been like, you know, how condensed that is, how much, um, you know, how much balls on top of that? Yeah. I mean, it's been a long season for most of all of us rookies just coming in from, I know we went a little bit deeper than other teams, but uh, oh. <laughs> playing March Madness and then getting drafted and, and starting right away. I think that it's a toll on everybody. So, I mean, I started a little, earlier in the summer, but mm. I think that's kind of the same for everybody. Everybody's going through it. Most definitely. I appreciate that. And then Haley, I wanted to follow up with you too. I don't know if you're aware, but you were just named first team APL rookie. Yeah, um, I was jumped by the team. I <laughs> love that for you. Did you, did, first off, did you slip and fall this time? I'm sorry. What was the question? I said, first off, did you slip and fall this time? I was pushed. Oh, I you were pushed. So we okay. her out. Yeah, they pushed me. 
Good to know. But, um, you know, kind of going off that as well, in terms of what this rookie year has been like for you, kind of experiencing some of the ebbs and flows with it, what is uh, what has that been like for you and kind of having that culmination here? Yeah, I think um, there's definitely been a lot of highs and lows for me. Um, it's definitely been a roller coaster of a year, but I think I wouldn't have been able to go through and like gotten through all the different, you know, emotional, just tense, all these different things going on, just a lot of pressure and expectations I had for myself without being where I am in Atlanta. Um, I think just like the staff did a really great job of trying to keep me grounded, but especially my teammates just continuing to, you know, instill me with confidence, this and that I really couldn't um, have done it without them. And that's so serious. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great blessing and a great thing to have, but I, I'm really more so looking towards going to be in Dallas and being there for the next week. Awesome. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Go ahead, Megan. Sorry about the noise. You're all good. Uh, can you guys hear me? Awesome. Uh, congratulations, Haley, to you as well. Um, really good to see that from you. I know a while ago we talked about your confidence uh, building throughout the season. And so I just wanted to ask you, as you're going into playoffs, like what sort of things have you challenged yourself with personally to help continue building upon that confidence? I think for me, it's the confidence is there at this point. It's really just building consistency, being somebody that the team can count on. I think throughout the season, I've tried to get better with that. Um, where at the beginning of the season, it was kind of like, I get in and you don't really know what you're going to get. Like I could be taking care of the ball and this and that, or I could kind of get rushed and turn it over or miss my defensive assignment. So I think as we're heading into this last part of the season, really, I want to be a consistent person that the team can count on in all different aspects, whether that's offensively, defensively, energy on the bench, um, really just building that consistency is what I'm trying to focus on. Awesome. Thank you. And LA for you, uh, I asked this question actually of several of your teammates. So I want to ask you, cause I haven't had the chance to ask you one word to describe your season to this point. Um, one word. It's tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's tough. <laughs> um, I'm just going with blessed. I think that coming in with at different expectations and just being able to put on some basketball shoes as my work, as my job, and, you know, kind of just coming in and, and getting better and being part of a team that's winning. I mean, that's that's just a blessing. Not everybody gets to do that, and, and I'm, I'm going to take that as a win every day. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you both. I've got Emmanuel, one question, and then we'll wrap it up. All right. Well, let me just ask this one question. L.A., let me ask you, you brought up something very interesting, Dan. This is a job now. For all your life, you've been playing and in school and all that. But for the first time, this is a profession now. How has that changed your mindset as a basketball player going into this year? Uh, I like to feel like I've been a professional since I was like 15, just because I've been on the national team and being able to, to have those different experiences where I'm overseas for months at a time with you know people that have been in the league and people that have been playing professionally. And then going to college, like, I think it's a different ball game right now just because of how the coaches are instilling all these different values in us to get us ready for the next level. I mean, we both play for top programs, so um, those type of programs will prepare you for moments like this. So I just say the transition has been – obviously, it's always going to be different, but I think that a lot of our experiences have, have been able to get us to where we are today. One more? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I just saw your email. No, start getting the numbers. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. So that's what I was going to ask about that. Um, so I guess kind of a whirlwind of the season, right? You come, you're playing college last, this time last year, going to March Madness, come in, drafted. Now you're going to the playoffs. Yeah. Now you tell got me about the it. First team. Uh, how has that kind of been? Uh, the award and kind of the whole season. Yeah, I mean, you you listed them off. It's been a long year. Um, I think, especially just coming from the collegiate season. Whoa, collegiate season! It takes such a toll because it's you start literally in June and then you go forever through March Madness. You have classes. You have a lot of things going on, and then you know I left school early to then go and train, and then yada yada yada. Now I'm here. It's been a really long season. Um, so I think it's just. It's been a lot, but I think I'm really happy to be here, like I said, in Atlanta and, you know, get an accolade like this is really exciting because 
There's 144 spots in the league. I don't even know how many of our rookie draft class is still in the league right now on a roster. And so to be named that is really special. Um, so yeah, it's just been a whirlwind of a year, but I'm excited to now be on this playoff push. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.